This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. Well, here we are near Mount Hood doing a little snowboarding. And, well, we decided to do some camp reviews. Hey, and, cheers, gents. And cheers. everybody knows you can't snowboard summertime hood without camping. Unless you're really balling and you're getting put up in a, yeah. in a super nice Airbnb and getting flown out here. <laughs> and we're not. This is the Nemo Stargazer. We have the 2021 model and the 2020 models here. All three of us are sitting on them got our feet back because it was a long day at the mountain. We all have kind of different opinions. Mm. For me, I love sitting back at night, taking some binoculars and just seeing what's happening in the stars at night. So this is my dream chair. Dream chair. There's a dissenting <laughs> opinion. And Davey's kind of in the middle. I am, um, I am. And my wife is actually more on Nick's side of things. But I love rocking. I love putting my feet up on a footstool. I wish they had some sort of complimentary footstool that would go with it. For and sure. I would say my only real complaints with this chair is I don't like when you recline back. The back area that you recline into, and kind of in your lower back, it kind of crinkles up. Another complaint I don't like is that you can't put your drinks in here. This is just a bad idea. No, the, cu the cup holder is at like a pretty. They're in a bad place. Pretty good angle with the way the I mean, chair they sit cups pretty around deep in here. there, though. I think a so, can of beer will sit better than we have a, like hydro flask uh, cups yeah. with mixed I mean, drinks in them, and yeah. those want to spill. But the like yeah. the the more a beer's okay, lid of the but can. it's like you you've got a problem here with these chairs for for holding cups. Yeah. Because if you put it on the outside, it's gonna hit the pole when you're rocking and spill. Mm -hmm. You put it on the inside, you've got a weird angle. But with cups though, what chair would hold something like that? I mean, I guess maybe that would, but. I mean, and normal that's camp chair, you know? Yeah. But this was the average a... <laughs> camp chair has a vertical cup holder. And, and he oh, pointed here. to a $5 yeah. Walmart camping chair, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a bottle opener and a cooler all in it. So. And I do <laughs> like this though to put your cell phone or something else here. I like this pocket. Yeah, that's a good little pocket. Yeah, and I love rocking and I just love the feeling right now. Like after a hard day, my feet are aching from yesterday we hiked hood and then today we rode it all day. Mm -hmm. And my feet, my just the dogs are aching and I love <laughs> just doing this right now. And uh, we're it, it is a very nice comfy recliner. Now me, I feel like I'm getting pushed down and it's not very comfortable. And this headrest is pushing me forward. I've had multiple neck injuries, so maybe that could be part of it, but I if can't If you've sit. broken your neck, you might not like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you break your neck, most yeah. chairs might be uncomfortable. Yeah. Personally, if I if I was if I was buying a chair for strictly like laid back stargazing, I think I would go for a zero gravity like like the yeah. fold out recliners that yeah. have the leg leg totally. piece in them, like a pool chair more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. I, I think the I think this is like if you're the type of person who likes to fall asleep in your in your chair in your recliner at your house and you want to go camping and you want to fall asleep in your chair this is the chair to do it in. And, and one thing to mention is the packability of these. These pack down really compact, so you can kind of see how much more space you save. And when I pack my wife and kids in a Subaru, <laughs> there isn't a lot of room. So space is important. And this was the best I could do with the space I had. Exactly, yeah, zero gravity is like a full on porch chair. And one thing I forgot to mention while we were up there having fun at Mount Hood is just how easy it is to assemble and disassemble. It only has a couple pieces that are separate. Everything else is combined by an internal bungee that holds everything together. So you're not gonna lose any parts. The only thing you have to worry about is the little back support poles. Those are a little tricky getting in, but not hard at all. And they're pretty easy getting out. Also, if you're wasted and you come to sit down on this chair, you might eat shit and die. You gotta be very careful. Yeah, when, when you, when you stand up, it wants to swing back, and there's a good chance to just face plant. So, yeah, there's a, there's a disclaimer. A good note too, it it does take away my my uh, desire to put up a hammock. 
Yeah, the, it is. The floating swinging motion feels very hammock-like. Yep, Davey and Nick brought up a very important point. <laughs> this just doesn't work without these big Agnes stools. Yeah. Yeah, the angle that you like the this is like the bucket soup of the of the <laughs> the, the swooping bucket, bucket soup. <laughs> of the chair. <laughs> what? The way your legs come out of it and when you rock, it just doesn't it's not like a proper rocking chair angle right. to yeah. push with. It feels great when you've got a footstool. Yeah, when you have a footstool, that angle is better. And some nights though, I find myself kind of like constantly fidgeting with this to get the right distance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Once you're there, it's pretty, pretty magical. <laughs> <laughs> This is a little clip so you can see how the, the legs stand and the way the, uh, the suspension sits around it and the way the, the uh, chair swings. It's giving you a good perspective on that. So to throw in some final thoughts after about a year and a half of owning these, using them throughout an entire camp season, using them in my backyard in the winter, I really like these chairs and I think it's very difficult to find something that's this compact and this portable. And I've tried, I've checked out about 15 different chairs and none of them have that balance between packability and comfort that the Nemo Stargazer does. For Nick, not so much. Davey, it's definitely grown on him and he really likes them now. And for my wife, she loves it at night, stargazing, but during the day, camping, getting in and out of the chair, she likes something else. So you can definitely see the difference in you size see how that versus, rocks on the uh, side. Whoa, we're doing a lot of, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> doing a lot of things at once. We'll Stay that. focused, everybody. <laughs> All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion. There's no brand oversight, and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything, unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.